Today, Kevin and Andrew and I are gonna try six different chocolate bars. These were sent to us from Sarah in California. Uh, we have two Chihuahua bars that we've never tried, and we have four of the TCHO. Um, and uh, they're different ones, and we'll tell you about them uh, one at a time when we're doing them, when we're trying them. The TCHO Chocolate is a local chocolate company based in San Francisco. Their chocolate is used in many chain store dessert shops. Sprinkles Cupcakes uses their chocolate, and many, many ice cream shops uh, here in California use their chocolate. So, what do you want to try first? Okay. It says what the, each of these are on the back. Right. Okay. And then we have the two that I'm looking forward to. We'll save those we'll for last. And these, and they say 60 calories each on the back. Okay. So, those I, I want to say. Is there a plain milk chocolate Okay. One? This is the plain milk chocolate one. Okay. Let's try That's this one. That's the classic out. milk chocolate. Okay. And then the next one Dad won't like. Dark. Because this is their classic dark. Okay. No, I'm I don't sorry. like dark as long as it's not it says, It says dark with subtle nutty notes. So there might be a little nuttiness to it. Yes, I'll eat half of it. Tastes like a dove. I don't think it's as good as a dove. I don't think it's as thick or creamy as a dove. It's not as creamy as a dove. It's not as creamy. But it does have the flavor. But it's very good. It's a very wow. good flavor, but it's not as creamy. I don't think it's as good as a dove, though. It's not. It's not. This is dark chocolate with subtle nutty notes. Yeah, give me a tiny one. Huh. Then you're going to eat it. <laughs> Definitely dark. He doesn't like dark. I like it's not that. As bitter, though. That reminds me of you said that there That's... was chocolate at the liquor barn that you would eat with um, alcohol. With alcohol, that reminds me of something you would have with alcohol. That's pretty dark. Mm -hmm. That's pretty dark. Let me just tell you. That's at least eighty. Let's say that's I don't an eighty. Know if it said on there. Did it say on there? Oh, if it's an eighty, come on, tell him. Did it say? Sixty-five. Really? They know what? Sixty-five. That seven. tasted dark. But it was good. That was a very, I'm usually pretty good okay, at it. Okay, this is milk chocolate with lush and fudgy notes. This is 53%. So not as dark as that one. That wasn't dark enough, fudge. Fudgy. That's still mesmerizing. That one's good. I like that one better than the last one because the last one was too dark for me. Um, I'm, not a, good. I'm not a dark chocolate type person, but that one was really nice. What All is right. this one? Hi, Dad. This one will be your favorite. Okay. Coffee. This one is a serious milk chocolate mocha chino. Yeah. <laughs> I I blue, coffee. blue bottled coffee. Does it give a percentage or no? I like I like coffee chocolate. <laughs> yeah, I like coffee yeah. chocolate just this much less than, what or this much more than a dark chocolate. Right up underneath the title is where it says. It doesn't say. Yeah. It just says eight grams. Yeah, it doesn't say. Um, uh, dark chocolate's here, and coffee's just slightly better. But not much. Mom just. <laughs> There's coffee. Mm hmm. Immediately. They still have a coffee aisle at the store. That's what this smells like. It's fresh ground coffee. I like that. With the little grinding machine. Mm. I think that's good. Mm. That's really good. That that is a, odd flavors give me cold chills and that gave me cold chills. That is not something that I would eat a lot of though. When you get cold chills while you're eating, I think you have a problem. <laughs> Literally, you would want a little square like that and you'd be finished. A little square. Because um, that's enough. That yeah, really is That's pretty strong coffee. That tastes like a, literally a cup of black coffee. And, um, what black coffee tastes like? No, I'm drinking it all the time then. This is Chihuahua Honeycomb, a mini with a little, chocolate with bar. With a little uh, cream in it. No Lush, sugar. Luscious amber honey caramelized into crisp bits and enrobed in dark chocolate. Is it like a shape of a leaf? We might get to eat it. <laughs> Sugar something. Does it say chow? Yes, I like the big piece. Thank you. 
Mm. It's got crispy in it. Ooh, wow. It's just like a honey. Don't like it? Nah. So far. It tastes like somebody has injected honey into my chocolate. Mm-hmm. I don't, think they, I don't think they go together really, but yeah, I don't think so either. I think it's just kind of odd. That's yeah, it's not bad for me, but it's not one that I would get again. Like I wouldn't want the full size bar, definitely, because you, know, you know they have these in full size bars. Okay, what is this one? Good, bad, just strange. <coughs> Which one's this one? Oh, Anders bragging because he got that open. <coughs> this is bacon. <coughs> Sorry. My back's really warm now. Oh, wait. Warmer. Sorry. I should have probably read that. Yeah. We were hoping you would do that before you opened it. Uh, delicate maple sweetness, a sprinkle of bonfire uh, maple? Saple? What's that? Bonfire. Maple sweetness. Yeah. Sprinkle of uncured sea salt and crispy red bacon and milk chocolate. So this is bacon, and oh, I know they do yeah. make full size bars. Bacon. I get salt. I like that. Get a little smokiness of the bacon. Not very strong though. I wish there was a little bacon here. Yeah, mainly I'm getting the salty. I am too. What'd you get? That's all I get is salt. Yeah, that, that was it. Mine's I didn't like, get maple at all. Mine was like crunchy chocolate. I didn't get bacon at all. Hey, there's some salt. And they make a whole, they make a whole big, the big bar of these. Well, there's no bacon in it. Mm -hmm. I didn't taste bacon in it. There's no bacon in it. There's no maple in it. I didn't taste maple. I Maybe was. because it's such a small piece. There's some salt, but it's not the good sea salt like you would expect. It's more of a just a salt. Right. Just salt. Just chocolate so, and salt. Those two are negatories for me. Sorry. I, I, I probably would buy any of them, honestly. I probably would not get any of them. If, if I were to eat any one of them again, it, it would probably be the bacon one. I don't know. I like that coffee one, the coffee one that we tried. But I probably would pass on these, but I'm still glad that we got to try oh, them. Yeah. So it was cool to get to try yeah, a I love different um, a chocolate that was made in San Francisco. Um, it was really cool. So thank you very much, Sarah, for sending them to us and thinking about us. And thanks for watching.